So, I work and do a lot of little projects with the Dremel tool. My Dremel 395 stopped working. The motor runs, but the shaft doesn't turn. Nothing's turning. If I want to thank Dremel, um, contacted them via email told me what part I needed, told them the motor was running, but the shaft was not turning. They said it's a coupler inside that's made out of plastic, um, and over time they deteriorate, they dry rot. I wanna buy a new one if I can buy, get a small little part for it. I drove over to Dremel, they're in Racine here, Racine, Wisconsin, and went to the service department, because uh, it was like a dollar twenty-five part and five dollars to ship it. Gave me the part and said, thank you very much. Didn't charge me for it, so thank you very much, Dremel. All right, let's go take it apart. All right, so to fix this, I'm gonna get out my little Lennox mini screwdriver set, which inside has some little, very little heads. Okay, I'm gonna speed this portion up for you. You're gonna need a T15 bit to take out the four black screws. It's two in the middle of the unit, and then two on the back side of the unit. Um, you also see that little holder on the back, the spring, just pull one side off and it's just sitting in two little holes. You'll need to take that off to be able to get the two halves apart. We're going to move to the front of the unit, unscrew the cap, which will reveal two more silver screws. You'll need a T10 to take these screws out. All the black screws are the same size or length, so you will not need to worry about which hole they go in. And the two silver screws are the same length, so you will just put them back in where you are removing them from. And my battery died. I just used a small screwdriver to pry the two halves apart. And once I did that, you'll see the um, coupling just fell right out. And this is the coupling after it deteriorated. Here, um, you're just going to put the new part on. I'm going to remove the front shaft and put the little coupler on. The little coupler is made of like a rubber. It's supposed to be able to give in case your shaft stops turning and it won't burn up your motor. It will basically strip out. If you don't use your Dremel, or if you it's an old Dremel, that part does deteriorate. So I've got it in, shaft turns, make sure the electrical cords going in the back are in their correct housing. And then you'll just put the other half back on, play with it, make sure everything's lining up, and then make sure that the shaft still turns, checking the lock, so I don't want to take this apart again. So everything appears to be working, so I'm going to put all the screws back in, and then I will screw on the plastic cap. And we are done with this project. Put on a little spring holder. And we're all back together. So now the moment of truth. Let's see if this shaft turns. That's what I want to know. Let's see. All right, it is working. Awesome. There it is. All the adjustments work and the shaft lock works to put in a new bit. Right. See you guys later. Thanks, Dremel. So now you know how to fix your Dremel. If it goes bad, if the motor's running, the shaft's not turning. Pretty quick fix. Bye-bye.